Uh, we are still on a cause. We are still fighting for the most important ideal among all of us in the world. And that is the concept and the belief that we have deep down in our soul, no matter where we are in the world, to be free. To be free from tyrants, dictators, and malcontents. Halfway across the world, as you know that are in this room, in a little bitty spot called Camp Liberty, those folks do not have liberty. Ironically enough, the name is not accurate because the people there are not free. But that little fella from the desert, Ahmadinejad, that's who I'm talking about, along with the Iraqi government, are doing what I think they want to do intentionally to prevent freedom for the people in Camp Liberty. And it's a very simple thing and a simple request that we are advocating. After all, it is not a safe place. Otherwise, those people over there on the wall would not be dead. Those seven people were murdered in February of this year. The world should remember those people. Should not forget them. You haven't forgot them, but we as a nation, the United States, should not forget them either. Because we are supposed to be the number one nation in the world that promotes human rights. Human liberty. And we need to make sure our job is finished in Camp Liberty so those people are safe. One thing that we, we should do is, is rem take the T-walls, and here's a little one here, and put them back so the people in Camp Liberty can be safe. We should make sure that we as a nation secure the liberty of Camp Liberty. One thing we can do is take that those folks in Camp Liberty and while we are encouraging the UN and the United States to help let those people go to other parts of the world, put them back in Camp Asheroff, which is at least a decent place for them to wait temporarily. We had to, we've proven, unfortunately, that Camp Liberty it was not a place of safety for those folks in Camp Asheroff. And so we need to allow them to return to Asheroff.